So a good question is, you know, what's the difference between keeping my money in stablecoin as opposed to just regular USD in the bank? You got to think of the dollar, right? The actual fiat based dollar as its own project. Think about it like that. That is its own little project. If I were to walk into this crypto project and look at it, look at the tokenomics, I'm going to look at it and go, oh, so it's inflationary, it's centralized, it's central governing. So it's got all these aspects to it that I'm like, it doesn't, that's not going to do well. That's not going to do well in the long term, right? That's how I feel about it. Uh, you look at a project like Stablecoin, Stablecoin, there's three legs to keeping the Stablecoin stable. Okay. The first leg is a market married to the actual dollar itself, right? The one to one. You have to, you have to create that marriage just to create the, 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 the one of the one legs of the triangle. The other two legs is one of, one of the legs is the stable coin against Bitcoin. That's a market that's sort of invisible and it's only being traded by those that have quantitative trading bots that can tap into that market. Those, that money, basically what's happening is, uh, they're hedging, they're pushing against Bitcoin to make sure that that coin stays stable. And then the other leg of the, of the triangle is that that Bitcoin market is being traded against the dollar. So now there's this flow of, of, of income, of money coming in to create the stability. Okay, that means that as Bitcoin's value moves up and down, more or less fiat dollar gets pumped in to the stable coin. So essentially your, your stable coin technically gets worth more as time moves forward because that's what uh, Bitcoin is being used to keep it propped up, not unlike the centralized fiat system. Here's the stable coin, here's a stable coin dollar market. Always, it's like a flat line, mm -hmm. right? You got the stable coin dollar market flat line. And then you got this other market, the stable coin uh, Bitcoin market. Well, in my opinion, what's happening there, there's, there's a, an influx there's, you know, if you're selling, if the uh, Bitcoin value, dollar value goes down, that means that they're selling into the stablecoin market. So you're actually putting more Bitcoin into the stablecoin market to make sure that the, the stablecoin stays at that same dollar value in that other market. Mm -hmm. If it goes up, you start to sell the stablecoin market into the Bitcoin market, which then, uh, keeps that dollar on the third leg keeps the dollar or keeps that at a dollar but in this market it goes down so then you can start making money there so there is these arbs that happen that doesn't exist in the fiat system